Hey, welcome back everybody. If you guys were interested in the rain cam car, or sorry, rain cam car, ugh, sorry, car cam, uh, I got my hands on this and we'll be just kind of checking it out. If you guys were interested in thinking about purchasing one, uh, it doesn't have much in here in the little box. It looks like rain is, you know, now that's part of Amazon as well. So they also included, you know, now the car cam. So in here in the box, as you can see here, it looks like it's got a little, uh, Probably just the little instructions here which it, yeah it does and it's got a quick start so um, that's basically it does tell you that uh, if you already have the ring app you don't have to worry if you're adding this to your devices uh, this actually does have a dual face facing HD camera so uh, yeah it's gonna be interesting they do provide a sticker for your car I guess you can put it in the window some alcohol pads so you can clean when you're sticking this on and it's got all the accessories that you actually need as you can see here this is for your vehicle where you'll be plugging it in it's got a cable here that it's gonna give this constant power when you turn off your car uh, it looks like it has a couple more or not a couple but it's got a few extra uh, connectors here not connectors but stick that you can stick on there to adjust the I guess for the camera we'll take a look once we get that in, you know installed uh, same thing here looks like that's a cover so we'll take a look at that as well in here let's let's go ahead I'll open this up just kind of like well let's see if I can get this open for you guys let's see the little tough side there so yeah, you can see here is this up hard plastic. So we'll see what this is for. And again, if you guys are gonna install this, I recommend that you uh, set up everything before you gonna put in the car. And I'll show you why. This looks like it's a tucking tool. Uh, as you can see here, it's got a little openings here. So that's what it, this actually looks like. And in here, it's got a couple more. Looks like this. I'll take out this box. Um, it's got a couple more extra uh, adhesive pads here that looks to be like I guess if you take this out in the future so you might want to save these for the future if you ever want to kind of move it around or, or put it for an, an, another vehicle so that way you'll you know have that in here it's also got the uh, USB to USB cable uh, I'll see how long this is or yeah because it doesn't actually show or say anything here because as you can see there's hardly no instructions or anything that's all there is so I'm wondering how, uh, what's the length on this. I'll try to uh, get this and I'll put this down here below in the video. Just so you guys, if you guys were interested, um, you know, um, you know, the length in it. So you can, hopefully it's long enough. I don't think there's much in, there's no, probably no more that as you can see here in the box. So yeah, the box is empty. Uh, there's not much more. Uh, here's the camera, as you can see here. So yeah, um, you can see it's uh, it's kind of like, you know, just all plastic here. So that's pretty nice. Uh, it actually goes inside your dash in, and this part of the adhesive, as you can see here, uh, hopefully the camera can catch that. This is what you'll peel off and put in your windshield. So when it's uh, tucked in, this will be in the windshield and this uh, will face up. And you, you'll be able to adjust it, as you can see here, depending, because you know, if, if it goes into the dash, this you'll have the ability to just kind of like uh, you know adjust it there up here in the top it looks like it's got a record button so but I don't think you'll need to use that again you'll be able to say you know Alexa you know oh sorry I didn't want to say that you'll say the a word and then uh, to start recording uh, again front facing camera uh, it's got a dual uh, two HD cameras in here as you can see there uh, let me see if I can get that to focus for you guys. It's got the HD camera for the front, and and this is the camera that that will be in the back, you know, to the cabin area. So again, that's uh, it's got actually a um, cover windows or cover. So in case you don't want to, you know, just show um, anybody inside the car or anything like that, which is pretty nice because if you want to do, uh, you know, this uh, if you want to do like a conversation with somebody that has the app you'll be able to you'll be able to track the car uh, you'll be able to set up so it can record it can actually save up to 180 days uh, if you got the service so if you got it want to capture anything uh, it does have 180 days uh, that'll store on the camera uh, if you have the ring protect go so you have to actually have um, uh, a different service added this is not part of the if you have the ring alarm or anything from the ring 
uh, you you have to add you know more of that. So it actually also has a um, uh, LTE and it's got also Wi-Fi. So if you if you don't necessarily set it up with Wi-Fi or with the LTE, you should be able to hook this up to your phone and be able to get the Wi-Fi you know and use it there. But if you don't have the service, I don't know if that will work or anything. Again, it's got the live two-way uh, talk, so that's nice that you have ability to talk to anyone in the car. So that's good. Uh, motion alerts and real-time notifications. You'll be able to receive alerts if there's any kind of motion on your car, you know, through your um, app and everything. So let's take a look at, at a close-up, as, as you can see here. Up here in the top, it's got the little ring here, or ring with, I'm sure it'll light up. But it's got that push button here. So I'm sure that will be probably for recording. But again, you'll be able to say the A word and start recording. Uh, this is the side cam the camera, the HD camera that goes towards the uh, cabin area. This is the uh, uh, cover here. This actually feels nice and solid. So it doesn't look like this will actually break uh, very easily. Uh, so that's going to be, you know, pretty nice if you don't want to have it kind of recording you you'll be able to just switch it off and it looks like it's got the uh, dark sensors here so you know since the cabin is uh, dark so uh, again the camera actually you can see it's uh, it's kind of like a little on the bubbly side so it does have a bubble side so I'm sure that's going to give you more of a you know panoramic view inside so it can catch the complete cabin inside uh, the whole materials it's all plastic so hopefully, you know, this holds up in the sun because, you know, this actually will be, if you have it in your car, it will be in the sun, especially in the hot summer. So I'm sure this has all been tested and should have no problem at all. Hard plastic, and it looks to have, uh, that's probably for the speaker. It looks like a speaker grill in here. So that's kind of the speaker there, so you'll be able to talk. I'm wondering if you'll be able to actually use this if you have bluetooth connected to your stereo system in the car with bluetooth and here it's got you can see the little um kind of wedge that you know it's going to go inside the dash between the windshield so don't push it too hard because you know who knows yeah you can put pressure on the windshield maybe crack it who knows of that again uh that's the uh, sticky once you have it all set up i wouldn't remove this but we'll go uh in the car as well and set it up you know kind of push it and then kind of just quickly kind of show you guys it's supposed to be pretty easy hold on to these extra ones again if you ever do mess up or decide to move it to a different car you can do that up here in the front this is the front facing camera again let's take this out we'll take this out here and you can see again it's got uh the ring here so it's actually protected very nicely uh it's got a shiny gloss here around it so that's uh pretty nice that you know kind of give you a little bit classy on there other than that that's not there's not much to this uh again you can uh this has some some kind of a tilt as you can see here so you can adjust depending on once you put your camera in uh, that way if it's in the dash like this you'll be able to you know kind of adjust it and get the view of the car uh, uh, down here in the bottom that's where the USB-C connector is at so you know you'll be connecting it there so that way when you're you know you uh, put it with the cable here you'll be able to you know keep this uh, working and charged up so yeah uh, other than that is there's not much into this uh, product here as you can see that so yeah it's very nice and slick uh, I wonder if it'll draw attention you know once you have it in your car so hopefully not uh, again they won't if they stole this uh, they won't be able to activate it because as all ring products uh, it's only activated by uh, Mac address and certain once you activate it it's got to be deactivated by them other than that there's not much in here uh, again this is the uh, let's take this out just so you can see it but um, this is what it's going to go in your car's uh, port so that way um, you can uh, basically this is going to be able to charge and again this will keep this charge so that's you know um, if your battery actually goes low or anything uh, it's going to be able to, to um, shut off the uh, the power to the uh, to the ring camera cam car cam that way it won't drain your car battery so again it's got the connectors here it's very easy just connect it there plug it in and yeah uh, it's going to be very easy so yeah
All right, everybody. So uh, we're gonna try to get this hooked up here in the car. Again, I just I may just do kind of like the uh, just the package items here. I'm not bringing no screwdriver as of yet. So in here in the package, I got the ODB2 connector that comes in here in the box. And also this cable is actually about a little bit shy, about a little shy of eight feet long. It's about 95 inches long. So it's a little shy of the eight feet. That should be more than plenty what we need. So we'll do uh, kind of check this out. Also this little tool, like I mentioned to you, I believe this is kind of, you'll put the, uh, the little uh, cable in there if you need to push it into the the small cracks or anything inside the car uh, and this other small little plastic I'll show you guys real quick here it's basically a little cover that it actually that I figured out that it goes is in here uh, as you can see it's got the opening for the USB cable there so you just kind of have to put this in here like sort of like halfway, and you can line up the USB I don't know hopefully that catches it on the video here right about in here so that way you can put the cable inside oops sorry the end of the cable let me grab this other end here this other end like this so that way you have it like this and the cable basically looks like it'll go inside this slot and let's see you can uh, line up those in there like this and then that way it's all in there and then this USB kind of goes in there see how that slides in there and this which is kind of strange that since this goes up in the glass and this is going to be tilted uh, I'm wondering why most of the uh, car OBD 2s are on your left hand side I wonder why they didn't put the uh, USB cable there you can't put this this way because it's not going to slide in there remember this goes up towards the glass and these other smaller little uh, clips that have the glue this is also actually if you notice those actually it looks like it'll be like if you needed to wrap the um, this cable and let's say for example you had some kind of glass or anything let's say this you put you take out the sticker there and then you put it on the windshield and then this actually acts like a cable route so if you need to run this cable like this see it looks like it goes in this way just uh i guess if it needs to be somewhere and you need to tuck it in and it doesn't have a hole to a uh, place to hold it in this will actually hold it in okay so as you can see here like i mentioned to you guys uh with that little clip in there it actually uh, you know actually makes it very nicely but i'm doing i'm at center it here on the car because that looks like right about i can see this uh right and straight ahead in my hood outside that it actually has a uh, you know the center part of it so i'm gonna go ahead and um just set this in here like this and then uh look how uh, nicely it actually holds on just with that cable or that little adapter in here it just makes that just perfectly to be able to uh, hold on and then as you can see here it's up above like this so i'm gonna go ahead and um kind of like stick this in there but before i do that i'm gonna go ahead and um get this in here like this so that way it's um kind of like kind of like a pre-run here of the cable and then like i said this other little tool the blue one uh i'm probably going to use this to just kind of like tuck in the cable inside there so it, uh, you can use it either this way depending on how you want to reach or if you need to reach in this this way so it looks like i can just kind of go like this and just i'll push that cable down in there so it can all feed in inside there and it can just stay in there and just kind of go all the way around and let me put in there like so and remember that you know you got the little notch in there that we you're able to catch the uh, cable in there and help you push it down below hopefully you guys can see that in here see how i'm able to just kind of like st stick it in here just push it down so, you, you know, depending on your car, you might be able to, you know, kind of like stick, lift up the panel possibly, and then just run it all the way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through here, and then I'll run it uh, on the other side, down below, just coming down on the end here. So that way uh, I'm able to just kind of like feed this through here and then just kind of go down towards the bottom. All right, you see, I went ahead and ran it all to the side in here. So now I have a 
pretty much, let me show you guys. Not too much cable left over. This is pretty much all I have left over, which is pretty good. So it almost took this eight feet of cable, at least in this car. This is an uh, aviator. So now what I'm gonna do is probably, or oh, actually I can just kind of push it. There's a little notch in here in this corner. I'm gonna see if I can fit and able to push all this in here. You know, try to make it as clean as possible. So let me see if I can get this little tool to help me push this in here like this as well. So there it goes. And just get this in there going this way. And then it will, I'll go ahead and run it as much as I can inside. And then what I'll do is I'll run this one above it so this can be a, as less visible as possible. And then if you ever want to pull this out, you just pull this out and then you can take it out if you need to. Now I'll push this other cable up above. That way it's a my uh, cleaner install. All right, so as you can see, it's a pretty nice clean setup, at least with the wiring here, it was pretty, fairly easy. Like I mentioned, this you'll be able to adjust the camera depending uh, how high or low your car is. Right there, it actually will rest on the glass once I get this stick on there and it's got the uh, cleaner. So I guess you can go probably pretty much like that. I, once I'm sitting back here driving, if I wanna flip that cover, if I wanna shut it off, I would have to actually kind of reach out a lot and just flick it. So if you guys plan on not want to use the uh, talk back or have the camera uh, in the cabin, you, uh, it, might, it might be a good idea when you're stopped or before you take off. That way you can reach up and, um, you know, just kind of like flip it. So I'm supposed to hold it until it blinks. And then I'm going to go ahead and continue the setup on the phone. So now that I know it's actually working. So what I'll do is let me get the Ring app. I'm going to go ahead and scan the QR code here that it came inside the instructions here. Let's see, there it is. So I'll put this on there. So as you can see, it's actually blinking here. So I'm going to go ahead and continue for my location. And then again, I'm going to name this uh, Casper since the car is white, which I just call it Casper. So it's going to actually want to connect to it. Hopefully I can show you guys here. It says connect down here in the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I can also connect it by Wi-Fi as well. Have to, you know, just kind of pay for it so that way it can continue and connect. So on this uh, location sharing, uh, location sharing is on for the car cam. This lets you see on the map so you can find it easily and see locations related notifications. If you desire, you can turn this later in your locations privacy. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead location sharing just to see how that works. Uh, but uh, I'll probably, I don't know if I may want location um, on, but just in case, at least for now. So again, it's showing you how to, um, if you need the extra privacy, you just close the cover. Uh, you can, if you guys wanted to put that ring sticker on there, that's uh, on your car. I don't think I'll be doing that. Uh, I, I don't think I'm gonna put this ring sticker on there. So I'm gonna just leave that off. So I'm gonna go continue. And now your car cam is all set up and ready to go and use. So if, you're, if your vehicle is still running, you can now turn it off. So I can continue. And then I'm gonna just, uh, a few more steps it says on here. Optimize now, just how Casper reacts to motion. So you can go optimization here. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of do some optimizations. Just kind of like, um, you know, just kind of like see what it has in here and show you guys. So I'm, let's go ahead and continue. Uh, use the slider uh, for the motion sensitivity. Uh, you will be default setting. Uh, we recommend you try the default settings and you can make adjustments. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and do max. So let's see how that works out. And then I can just actually pretty much, I'll probably do, you know, kind of put it on max and see how that, um, uh, how that works so um, and then I'll actually uh, probably put it down lower as time goes by and now um, it's motion frequency so how often this device should check for motion uh, motion detection always stays active I would recommend always stay active uh, only because that way you want to see you know if you want any motion on your car motion detection takes short breaks after each movement um, I guess if you have it in your driveway and you're not out and about 
I guess you can change it, but I'd rather have it frequently and then just kind of work my way the opposite way. That's that would be me. But everybody, uh, you can actually, you know, kind of do whatever, however you want. And of course, it's got periodically motion that takes takes a, a longer break after each movement, which uh, that's, that's another setting. So let's go ahead and continue. So now it's all saved. Uh, so continue. Vehicle battery usage. This is kind of to adjust the batteries on here. So. Uh, Let's go ahead and do the adjust for now. A vehicle battery usage, low default, shortest active time, best for cold winters and for vehicles driven less than three days per week, medium active time before uh, your before for vehicles that are driven a few times per week, high longest active time, ideal for vehicles that are driven daily and have battery under three years old. So I'm gonna do high, lo longest active time because I uh, the car we kind of use it every day it might sit there a couple of days, but uh, it's new battery, so uh, I, I want it to be active. The purpose of this is to be active and, and have the car no notify you if anything's uh, going on. To record a crucial moment, say Alexa record. So turn on this feature. I want to go ahead and make sure that feature's on. Want to track, want to let others track this car cam. You can share the device for now. I'm going to do skip now for now. Because uh, we always have the account, but if I wanted to share it with somebody else or you want to share, share it with a family member, you can do that. So, yeah, in this case, I'm, I'm done. Okay, so now we'll test out the, uh, see how the motion sense or vibrations can report back on the phone here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll open up the app here and leave it here. So we'll test it out. And we should get a, an alert here through the ring. Let's see, there's, these are my driveway ones. And there it is, uh, as you can see here, it's uh, detected there was a uh, hit or motion in the, in the car. And it's actually showing the inside of the cabin. And you can see, I can actually see myself in here. So at least you can know that somebody can hit your car. It actually doesn't have to be that hard. It's actually, you know, but you can adjust the sensors on how uh, lightly you want that to actually show up on the uh, on your application here okay so uh, yeah after I've already set up the rain car cam it's actually worked it's working pretty pretty good there's a couple of things uh, I wanted to just mention to you guys for uh, the type of 1080p that's recording it's actually clear enough I know some might not you know want it more clear but you got to think again this is not doing 4k recording and it's good enough as you guys can see here i'm gonna show you guys this is actually you know like i mentioned it detects motion uh on this right here you can see how clearly the you know the front is showing in here you, let me try to zoom in here you can see the numbers and the sign there this is actually in a cloudy day so you know again if you got some nice clear sunny days actually uh shows up much clearer than this and again um if you guys wanted uh switch to the inside you just click that right top and then you can see i'm going to hit play and since on this one you can see that it detected motion you know in the back uh you know just taking out some packages and you can see the you know it just actually detected the motion so it actually activated the camera so you can see there as well so if you guys wanted to actually download this you can i would hit just you know pause there down here on the, on the bottom right where it says more you can go ahead and click those and then you can see here where it says download you just click on that and it'll download what it does it uploads the uh, video back up to the cloud cam you know recordings and you you know uploads it and it'll tell you when it's ready and it actually downloads into wherever you're downloading it whether it's in the computer if you log in with the website or if you're on your phone, you want to go ahead and save it and download it, which I've done. I'll show you a little quick test video of that. The other thing I wanted to bring up to you guys, for example, um, let me close this one out. Let's say, for example, uh, you were, you're, you know, for safety. I actually, you know, think this is really good for safety. This is the reason why. Let's say you have your car parked outside in the dark uh, and then it's, you know, just... You, you know, you, maybe you didn't get notifications, you have no notifications turned off because you don't want to be just, you know, your phone going off at work or something. And you're ready to go to work, uh, go back to your car after work. And it's, you know, nighttime. Like, let's say, for example, right now it's nighttime. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on tap to go live. And I'll show you guys. Let's say you wanted to make sure that nobody's in the car uh, or anything that's in there. So what you do is go ahead and you log into your car 
and you can see the inside of the car. You can turn on the lights and the camp core, uh, the car cam has the lights. Down at the bottom right, you see where it says lights. Go ahead and you turn that on and you can see it actually how much brighter you can see inside if you, there's any movement or anybody that's in the car. If you, maybe let's say a door is open and since it's wide enough, you can see at least to the front uh, or not the front, but you can see to the sides if maybe somebody's standing around. And then you can do, uh, if you're in a parking lot where there's pretty, you know, plenty of lights on the top right, you can just click the little camera and it'll switch to the front camera so you can see it outside. Obviously here, um, my street is pretty dark. You can barely see the street lights of the neighbor's house across the street. But that's how you can do and, um, you know, just look to see if there's anything going on in there. And again, if you guys wanted to, you know, pick a, uh, a download, you can see right here, view this video in full resolution. You click download and it actually will download it in the full resolution. And it's actually pretty good. Here's a, I downloaded this one as you can see here. Uh, it's very good quality uh, video. Uh, it's good enough to see if you guys, you know, let's say a car hit somebody or you're looking at something. License plates a little bit going to be harder to get. You can see uh, you can see the lettering on the stops and the street letters and everything show up very, very clearly. Again, if it's more of a sunny day, uh, it actually going to have more of a uh, clearer picture than, you know, than, you know, darker or or, you know, when it's turning like dark or anything like that that doesn't have enough light so yeah again hope this video helps uh if you guys were interested in picking up the ring car cam maybe take a look at this hopefully this helps you guys decide uh, i think it's pretty good sure it's not a 4k video camera catching you know it's got some downfalls and you know it, it can it can have some improvements to go but for what it is right now i think it does it does a good job so if you guys were interested uh, if you guys have any questions, leave your comments below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Uh, sometimes I just get a little busy. I might not respond to you guys, but I'll try to respond to all of you guys that have any questions and try to help you guys out. So, and again, I appreciate this. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe helps the channel a lot. Thanks for watching.